A handy tool to remember about for loops is that a for loop nested inside another for loop will produce a row column effect. In this example, the outer for loop will execute three times. The control variable i is initialized with a value of 0. Our sentinel value is 2. The condition statement evaluates whether i is less than or equal to 2. 0 is less than 2. Since 0 is less than 2, the loop body is executed. After the loop body is executed, the control variable i will be increased to 1. One is less than two, so the loop body is executed. After the loop body is executed, the control variable i would be increased to two. is equal to 2, so the loop body is executed. After the loop body is executed, the control variable i will be increased to 3, but 3 is no longer less than or equal to 2, so the loop will exit. The inner loop will execute four times. The control variable a is initialized with a value of zero. The sentinel value is three. The condition statement evaluates whether a is less than or equal to 3. Zero is less than 3, so the loop body executes. After the loop body is executed, the control variable a will be increased to 1. One is less than three, so the loop body executes. After the loop body is executed, the control variable a will be increased to 2. Two is less than three, so the loop body executes. After the loop body is executed, the control variable a will be increased to 3. Three is equal to three, so the loop body executes.
After the loop body is executed, the control variable A will be increased to 4, but 4 is no longer less than or equal to 3, so the loop will exit. The output of these loops will result in three rows with four columns of asterisks. The first time around in our outer loop will give us our first row. The inner loop will give us our columns. Each time the inner loop executes, an asterisk is displayed. Notice that there is no NL at the end of the Cout statement. Therefore, the results will be displayed on the same line as the previous statement. When the inner loop exits, it goes back into the outer loop. The NL statement causes the program to go to a new line creating the second row. The outer loop executes a second time with I assigned the value of 1. The inner loop exits and the NL statement of the outer loop causes the program to go to a new line creating the third row. The outer loop executes a third time with I assigned the value of 2. This now gives us our three rows with four columns of asterisks. This concludes our section on loops. Next we will be discussing functions.